Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today we are going to talk a little bit about MEM and my thoughts on this application. I've done a few videos before, so I will try to keep this short, but overall I think that MEM had probably the best idea out of all of the note-taking applications. It came out back in 2019, I think it was, and back then applications didn't actually, or uh, at least not productivity applications, did not uh, actually utilize AI to uh, its fullest. And as we've seen for the last couple of years, AI is a really cool thing to have inside of a note-taking application, helping us to organize and find things. And that was the promise of MEM. So the idea was really, really good being able to and being able to uh, just quickly take notes and easily find your notes later. We also had uh, like basic note-taking uh, features that you would expect in a note-taking app, like to-dos, uh, like the ability to make templates. Some of that actually got removed and that's where we are coming into the problem of MEM or what ended up becoming the problem of MEM. I'm not saying that it is a bad application or it is a terrible application. I'm just saying that as a note-taking app, which it's wanted to be, uh, it actually it actually doesn't have the necessary features or uh, the app in general doesn't feel good enough compared to a lot of its competitors. When MEM first came out, it could get away with uh, not actually um, having everything set up perfectly, like not having a dark mode, not having a great mobile application. Still, there isn't an Android application. And just to mention that, uh, if an Android application is not um, prioritized, I would rather them say, just like Reflect does, just say that this is an application that is tailored more towards people who use iOS devices or at least iOS phones and uh, tablets. But if we now jump into Google and we search for MEM Android app and just do that quite quickly, we get this from April 12th. Let's just jump into these FAQs uh, just to uh, show you my point. MEM currently does not yet have an Android app, but our web app works great on uh, your mobile web browser. And it might work on, uh, and it might even work great on a mobile web browser, but everyone prefers an app over a web browser. On the other hand, uh, they have this SMS, Telegram and WhatsApp uh, accounts uh, integration where you can text yourself uh, MEMs, which is a cool feature, but I would just, rather have them say that this isn't a priority. Uh, this just feels like a way to say, no, we have, uh, we don't have an Android app, but you can use it and it works great on Android as well. In that case, why would you have, an, why would you not uh, rely on the same thing when it comes to iOS devices? So not having an iOS application and just relying on the web version. It is probably because having, um, application is what the consumers expect. This is just a minor thing, but uh, add to the fact that they removed their uh, roadmap uh, and people are starting or had started to get a bit annoyed with MEM and it not totally figuring out what it wanted to be. Uh, they switched out the whole uh, interface of this uh, and removed things like tasks, which was a feature or it actually is a feature that I would expect in a note-taking app. I'm not looking for Notion-like task management or Obsidian-like task management. I'm just looking for a way to easily jot down my tasks and being able to see them in one place. As of right now with, uh, with the removal of the ability to add notes, uh, you actually have to open up a different application or add tasks to your notes and being able to find the task later. Uh, you actually have to open up a different application and write your tasks in there. I have tried using 
the AI chat to find my tasks back when I was using MEM. Um, but it wasn't able to do that. On the other hand, the good things about MEM is that this chat with your MEM actually works really great. Uh, I tried this back when I was planning out a few podcast episodes uh, and it worked great. It did an amazing job at finding exactly what I needed to find whenever I needed to find it. So in that regard, this actually did a great job. Uh, so this is really good. This isn't the problem. Uh, having the chat with your mem and always being able to find what you're looking for, that isn't the problem. And if that is the only thing you are looking for in your note-taking app, mem is a great option and you can just stick with mem. Uh, also, uh, just a thing to keep in mind is that getting your notes out of mem uh, is a hassle. I've tried it. Uh, it was a lot of copy and pasting. But um, if you're just looking for a way to take notes, find your notes later, mem isn't a problem. If you actually want a note taker with great note taking capabilities, so easy things like having the ability to um, have um, having the ability to uh, to have tasks and to have a dark mode. Probably the second one is the most important. And what's fun about MEM is that uh, the mobile app uh, on iOS is actually dark mode. That doesn't have a light mode, while the uh, web version doesn't and the application on desktop doesn't have a dark mode. It only has the light mode. Um, and why do I keep mentioning these things? Because the small details are really important when the note-taking market is saturated and when every single note-taking app have, has this feature right here. So even though the chat with Mem is really good and it does an amazing job, so does Reflect's chat uh, feature. Uh, and Reflect has task, Reflect has a graph view, Reflect has an interface that feels a lot better to write in compared to mem uh, that's that's last part is highly personal but uh, the graph view and having tasks that is uh, objectively better inside of uh, reflect and when you start to think about it like compare this to notion which also has a Q&A feature notion uh, is more a project manager but uh, it also has the ability to take notes and you can have all of your tasks there and you can ask the AI to find the right tasks. Uh, again, I have tried that in MEM. It didn't work out. It might be working now, but it didn't the last time I tried it back in May, I think it were. Uh, it, I think it was, but um, that's like my whole point is that when we are uh, getting to a point where every single note-taking app seems to have the AI uh, capabilities that MEM was really known for when it first came out. The minor things uh, like the user interface, like the um, uh, different abilities inside of uh, the application, things like dark mode, the small details, and also just, I would just like this to be able to be in full screen. Uh, it It is now right now taking a lot of my real estate right here. Uh, a lot of the re screen real estate is taken right here um, by this uh, tag. It shows me everything in this tag, which is cool, but I would rather have this be smaller and this be even bigger. Uh, but like minor things like that matters now. It didn't at first when MEM was the only one that had AI. But when every single application seems to have AI, MEM sort of loses its advantage. And it becomes uh, much easier to just use an application like Reflect or like Notion or, uh, or even... Um, ClickUp, which also has an AI chat feature. That's all I'm thinking about, Mem. I'm not saying that it is terrible. Don't use Mem. If you actually like it, please do use it. Uh, the chat feature is amazing and it works uh, amazingly. 
uh, but the overall feeling as a note-taking app is it is much worse than a lot of the other applications on the market. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, if you have any questions, anything you would like to add, comment it down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. As usual, these are just my personal opinion. I think that Mem still has the ability to become one of the top tier note-taking apps in the future if they figure out what they actually want to become. Uh, but uh, as of right now, it still has a long way to go, at least in my opinion. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you again quite soon.